what's up you guys it's Sydney and today I'm going to be filming another makeup tutorial this is my sweat proof makeup and since it's summer and a lot of people are going to be outside doing who knows what I thought it would be appropriate to film this and if you're wondering I am pre-filming this because I'm going to Italy so I had to film this a week ahead of time and I'm so excited I hope you guys like this look I think it's really fun with the little blue eyeliner I got going on and yeah I hope you like it keep on watching if you want to learn how to do this look hello my beautiful biscuits alrighty so I'm assuming if you guys are going to be sweating a lot I'm gonna guess that you're outside so I highly recommend using a moisturizer or foundation with SPF in it so first I'm going to use my Aveeno Smart Essentials Daily Nourishing Moisturizer this has SPF 30 and I'm just gonna put this all over my face And then of course I'm going to use my primer and this is my usual Smashbox photo finish. Now for foundation, I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 24 hour foundation. And this stays on really well and doesn't break up too much or like get affected by sweat. So this helps stay on and I'm going to just place this, I'm just gonna like dot it all over my face. And now I'm going to blend this in with my beauty blender. And now I'm going to go in with a second layer. Now that foundation is done, it's time for concealer. I'm going to be using my Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer and this stuff does not budge. It is so amazing. So I'm just going to dot this on my blemishes. And I'm going to blend all my concealer in with my Sephora foundation brush. Now for under eye concealer, I'm going to use my Garnier BB Daily Eye Roller, Ruler, Roller, and I'm just going to put this under my eyes. And I'm going to blend that in with my Beauty Blender. You can put a little bit on your lid too, just to prime it. To set all of my foundation and face makeup, I'm going to use my Maybelline Matte Maker Powder and this is an older beauty blender so I'm not going to use it for foundation, I'm just going to use this for powder. I'm just going to take it and rub it in the powder and I'm just going to set my under eyes and then any areas that get oily throughout the day. Using a beauty blender really helps to press the powder into the skin instead of just sitting it on top. This will really set your makeup and help from getting oily. And I'm just going to go over with this brush, just like blend it out. There's nothing on it just to get rid of any little lines from the powder. Now it's time for bronzer. I'm going to use my Milani XL bronzer. I mean, you don't really, you can pretty much use any bronzer that's like relatively long lasting. This does a pretty good job. And... It doesn't like splotch out too much so I'm just going to lightly apply this after lightly bronzing it's time for highlighter and especially in the summer I like a subtle glow and how I'm going to do that is by using this Topshop glow cream highlighter this is in the color gleam and I'm taking a little bit of this on my fingertip and blending it in now a good tip for long lasting makeup is if you use a cream product under a powder product it will like it will last longer. So to kind of set my highlight almost I'm using my Laura Geller Gilded Honey Gel Gelato Swirl Illuminator. I don't know. It's this one. I just got it a few days ago and it is so unbelievably gorgeous like I have stared at this like this packaging for 10 minutes. I'm just like mesmerized mesmerized I think it's so gorgeous so I'm gonna use a fan brush and just kind of get that in there and I'm going to set my highlight now for blush I'm going to be doing the same thing using a cream product and then a powder so first I'm using my Tarte cheek stain in true love and this doesn't have a lot of color so I'm just gonna take a little bit of it on my finger and just pat that on the apples of my cheeks you can think of it as like a cheek primer and to set that, you could say I'm using my Tarte Amazonian 12 Hour Blush in Glisten. 
And to make this last extra long, I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible Setting Spray. Now for eyes, I'm of course going in with my NARS Eye Primer because, like I said earlier, primer is made to make things last longer and stay on. So I'm going to blend that into my lids. And then I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Color Tattoo in the color Barely Branded. I'm just going to take a little bit of this on my fingertip and put this all over my lid. This is going to be our base. For a transition color, I'm using ColourPop's Cornelius. This is from the Kathleen Lights Quad. And I'm just using a big crease brush and putting this in my crease. To darken up my crease a little bit, I'm using Bandit from ColourPop, which is a dark reddish kind of brown. I'm using the same brush and putting this in the, focusing more on the outer part, but still in my crease. And I'm gonna take this color on the same brush just under my lash line a little bit, on my lower lash line. To open up my eyes even more, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in the color Ice Latte. I'm going to take this on my fingertip because I think it works best like that, and stamp this on the inner part of my lid. I haven't used this in so long, but it's still such a favorite of mine. And then I'm going to go in with a big fluffy brush and blend that all out. Now to add a little bit of color, I'm going to use my Sephora Colorful Eyeliner in Pool Party, and it's this amazing cobalt blue color, and it, is, it claims to be 24 hour and waterproof, and I have worn this um, when it was super hot, and it did work really well. So I'm just going to put this on my upper lash line, a super thin line, just like I would normally do with black liner. I love this because it's like, it is a color statement, but it's not over the top. And now I'm going to curl my eyelashes. Now for mascara, I highly, highly recommend using Tarte's Lights Camera Splashes. If you wear this, it will not budge like I've gone to a pool party where I've been literally like covered in water for a few hours and by the time I'm done I still have mascara on my eyes except it's so strong that like you cannot get it off like I will spend like 20 minutes trying to scrub my eyelashes and I really don't feel like you losing any eyelashes today so I just don't have the energy and I'm not going to be being in something where to like wear it off I'm just gonna have to take it off a few hours from now so I'm not going to use this today but just so you know this is a great waterproof mascara I'm just gonna use my normal buxom mascara Last but not least, now it's time for lips, so I'm just going to like dot on a very little bit of lip balm. I don't want too much because what I'm using could run off if you use too much lip balm. So I'm going to use that, and then for my lips, I'm using my Revlon Colorstay Overtime Lip Color in Everlasting Rum. And this stuff will not come off your lips. Like, it will stay as you drink and as you do everything. So it's really good for sweat. And then you are done. So that is it for my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave any other video suggestions or comments or questions you have in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And of course, if you're feeling extra nice, please, please subscribe. I'm really close to 700 and I'm super excited. And yeah, I love you guys so, so much. I'll see you next week. Bye. Um, I put on this makeup. I filmed it at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And now it's... 12.53, so it's almost 1 in the morning, so it's been on for almost 11 hours, and it's still looking really, really good, and it has been super hot today. I've been outside, and I've been sweating. I mean, I went to a movie, and I mean, my blush is still there, my eyes look fine, eyelashes still curled, and believe it or not, my lip color is still there. And I have had dinner, I have had, I've drank, like, obviously water, I had, like, some San Pellegrino, I've had, like, so much stuff, and I've been, like, 
doing things. I've been talking all day and I've had lots of food and snacks and it's still on their lip colors on their eyeliner still a very blue and yeah so I just wanted to give you an update all this is staying on really well I'm not shiny at all and you guys know I have such oily skin I haven't blotted I have not done one single touch up on my face all day and it's still looking really good and I just want to let you guys know and yeah that's it